World Health Organization has declared coronavirus a global pandemic. It is 10 times more lethal than the seasonal flu. The coronavirus pandemic changed the world. And this massive disruption also prompted something quite unexpected, a medical breakthrough. It is a real game changer. If we have a new type of drug in a sense, and that means we can push it in many different directions. The new vaccine technology is called Messenger, or mRNA, a platform which in effect delivers genetic instructions to the patient's body to produce an immune response. mRNA um, as, a, as a vaccine delivery uh, vehicle or as a therapeutics delivery, its potential is enormous. And this small Queensland lab is on the cusp of this scientific revolution. Yeah, it's, it's been really fantastic. Over the, just over the course of one year working in this field, we've just seen an incredible explosion. We employ a pretty dedicated team of about 18 people, um, but we, I think we're expecting it to almost double or even triple in size over, over the next year. This is the base facility at the University of Queensland. It was set up 18 months ago to make experimental mRNA vaccines and drugs, not just for COVID, but for many other diseases and conditions, including some cancers and inherited disorders. At the moment, we're making, um, let's say, two or three mRNA vaccines per week. By this time next year, we want to be making 100 to 200 mRNA vaccines or therapies or other reagents per week. When COVID first broke out in early 2020, Professor Paul Young was one of the leaders of a UQ research team searching for a vaccine. mRNA technology had been around for decades, but until COVID had never been developed on a commercial scale because it was seen as being too unstable and expensive. I have to admit, uh, right at the start, I was in the camp that didn't think mRNA would uh, be as disruptive as it turned out to be. You weren't a true believer. I wasn't a true believer. I, I believed that ultimately the technology would work, but I didn't think it was there, uh, and I was wrong. Um, so it, it surprised a lot of people? It surprised a lot of people. I think including the people who were actually using it. Some of the most widely used COVID vaccines in Australia use this mRNA technology including vaccines made by Pfizer and Moderna. It's been um, provided to a large fraction now of the world's population. And while there, aren't, there certainly are issues, by comparison to sort of conventional vaccines and more broadly pharmaceuticals, it's actually been shown to have a really uh, safe, uh, safe profile. But up until 18 months ago, Australia had none of the infrastructure to develop and manufacture mRNA vaccines and drugs. That's now all changing, with New South Wales investing $100 million in a new facility. This is about bringing every New South Wales university together and committing to work collaboratively. And Victoria backing Moderna to build an mRNA manufacturing plant that will be capable of producing 100 million vaccines a year. As far as announcements go, this is a big one. This facility at the University of Queensland is involved in the earlier stages of mRNA vaccine and therapy development, often for pre-clinical trials. And this is one of the recently discovered breakthroughs a method of enclosing mRNA into fat droplets so they can be injected into a patient. And at the moment there isn't a lot of capacity in Australia for producing like preclinical mRNA for research projects. Um, I guess we've witnessed almost like an unprecedented demand for the four mRNA from the Australian scientists. Last month UQ combined forces with Griffith University, the Queensland Government and the French pharmaceutical giant Sanofi to develop a $250 million mRNA development hub in Brisbane. 
there's often in, in, in Australia uh, a discussion around a um, research and innovation gra graveyard uh, because we do great research but then it doesn't lead anywhere. There's, there's no uh, impetus for it to go out into a commercial arena. Um, having Sanofi here will uh, provide one of those um, conduits out into that, uh, out in that commercial arena. Is there a danger of having different states pushing ahead with their own initiatives? I don't think so. I, a little bit of healthy competition is always a good thing. But uh, one, one thing you can say about the research and development community in Australia is they're well connected and they collaborate well. Professor Young is only too aware of the difficulties in vaccine development, but he's confident mRNA technology is no flash in the pan. mRNA is not going to be uh, the uh, solution to everything. Uh, but it is a very valuable new technology. And whilst there will be some failures along the way, that's like any drug development program, I believe as a platform it's proven itself as, as one that we'll be able to deliver.